what up you guys welcome to another travel vlog with your girl shauna diggs today we are in aruba okay um i am kind of rushing to talk real quick because i literally just got here and as you can see it is january 11th and it is 4 34 p.m right now and i booked a catamaran straight off the boat i mean straight off the plane and i have to be there at 5 30 and as you can see i just got here i want to give myself like 30 minutes to get dressed gotta get some music going me some turned up what we got what we got <laughs> get ready but um i'm about to head down to the lobby and get in this taxi and then try to get to this excursion on time but look how it looks when you get in the elevator nice hello does it say hi it um hold on one second so y'all we done made it well hopefully make it um i think it starts at 5 30 but i think that's just like the time we actually board the ship but i don't think we get off and well take off until six so we may have some time all right y'all i think we made it well sort of i'm still making my way down to the beach i have to walk through this resort to get down to the beach i see a catamaran on the water hopefully it's not the one i'm supposed to be on because honey i would be so pissed off it's actually his birthday today yeah. guys. to pretend to be queen of the lulu <laughs> this is so amazing let's see oh, oh this is nice. i thought this shit was gonna be hard like it's actually very oh my god the room is spinning okay maybe this 
Maybe the sunglasses will stop. Maybe the sunglasses will stop the room from speaking. Okay, Aruba. It's only day one and y'all don't owe me nothing. I feel like I'm drunk, so I want to go to sleep. But I'm more awake than normal. But I'm also like, even though I just ate, I'm still hungry. So, I know they ain't got Uber out here. So, I know that damn well they ain't got Uber East. But let me see if there's like, I don't know, some chips or something I could get. So, I'm just like literally out here walking on the streets to find a food truck. Like, I have a place I'm staying that just suggested to me. So, they say that this is one happy island. So, I'm just walking out here like this. Like, here, it's almost midnight. So, and it's not really anybody out here. Like, literally, it's just me. So, I, and I'm walking with money in my hand thing. But he said, walk this way and then go on the straight main street and to find a food truck. So, I'm on a mission to find a food truck right now. Wait, he said, right. Oh, it's right here. Okay. The food truck is literally right here. Okay, cool. Hopefully, they got something that I can eat. So I ended up getting this. They didn't have the veggie burger that was on the menu, but it's like cheese fries with some garlic sauce. Good morning, people. I know I probably look absolutely crazy. I haven't even washed my face yet. I'm just sipping on some water. Well, some Pedialyte. I brought these little Pedialyte packets with me. Today is Palm Island Day. Well, my pickup time is at 940 and it's like 8. 20 something right now so i'm like should i just go back to bed or should i <laughs> you know get up and do something i had so much time to get ready and now i'm like crunch time it's i mean it's like nine o'clock but i still have to walk over to where they're gonna pick me up and i don't know where i'm going <laughs> I am trying to make my way to the Renaissance Hotel because that's where my pickup is. Unfortunately, I didn't give myself enough time this morning. I had enough time, but y'all know the situation. So hopefully they don't leave me because they say that my pickup time is in one minute and I'm two minutes away. Everybody's hello. <laughs> Everybody say it's windy here. It is windy, but it's like a good breezy windy because it's like it balances the heat. We made it on the bus, y'all. Here, y'all. I can't believe I made it. Like I literally ran up and was like, "Does the bus come here?" And the bus pulled up right behind. Like damn, she in her mood. She lit. Your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Stuck in my way, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views. It looks like we're the first people on the island, so it's just kind of empty. Party, he just went on I think I'm hungry and I need to eat. Uh, then we can get the day started. You always stay hot. Oh, they mad because I keep making bops. Oh, like, going into the beach. There's so many rocks in here, like it's not water to like walk in and play in. I'm trying to like find a place where it's smooth to walk, but it's not smooth at all. I don't know where the sand starts, but honey, this ain't it. I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she a little bit better. It's getting less rocky the deeper I go. Oh, the water slides are open. Ah, but I'm about to get on the water slide. Oh, I see fish. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood.
with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. Put a paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be there by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Boy, viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a bug. Bitch, too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Never get me wrong when I hop at the truck. Pretty bitch, like Lauren with a big ass. Got some lunch, y'all. Like. Palm Island is serving up some food. I met a little friend. You can introduce yourself. Hey, um, I'm Amina, 17. It's not my first time traveling. Ah, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Okay. Look at the food that they give you here, though. Like, they give you some real actual food. And it's a buffet style. And then they have, like, a snack bar over closer to, like, where we're sitting by the water and everything. But it's not open yet. It opens, like, in 30 minutes. But... About to eat this first. Oh, Aruba. <laughs> but yeah, pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them way hold on. And I'm making them way hold on. Way hold on. Like damn, she and her move. 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 Like, damn, she lit. Get money too. Like damn, she and her move. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she and her move. I'm just gonna lay right here. I'm gonna just lay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just gonna lay right here. I'm just gonna try to get back up at this point. Excursion is over. My hair made it. The food in here is low key really expensive. I heard that Aruba imports all of their goods and they don't really have anything here. This little packet of grapes is $4.69. I know I look crazy. <laughs> I just realized I still got these earrings on and pajamas. These are our main character earrings at the today was lit. Like I literally really enjoyed myself today. I met some people, did a whole bunch of stuff. Let me put my camera here so I can have a little monologue. <laughs> Right before I got here, guess who lost her debit card? Well, I have Apple Pay and I grabbed some cash before I got here, but that cash is running very low and I'm still, I still got two more days here. I'm trying to like save every little dollar that I have to just use for cabs. And, but yeah, my debit card is just, yeah. I don't know where it's at. It don't know where I'm at and I need some cash. I need some cash. I need some cash. I need some cash. Okay, 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 okay. A few minutes later. Let me, let me, let me get in my bag real quick. Cause when God said, "Let there be light," I knew I had a hundred dollar bill somewhere. Girl, this just saved my life. Like, cause I was just like, bro, bro, I'm probably be walking to the airport. <laughs> Never been so happy to see a white man in my life. <laughs> Done with my workout, just made it back to the room, just trying to spruce myself up a bit. I'm gonna wear my hair down right now because it's still kind of wet in the back from yesterday. I'm trying to make it out of this house um like in the next five minutes or so i want to go and get some breakfast i don't want to get scared y'all but it's literally like a whole crowd of people in front of me 
Damn, that's the line to the pancake house. Look how this line looks. Not for some pancakes. I'm gonna try the Dutch Pancake House again tomorrow. I'm gonna have to just get up very, very early or something to do that because, honey, I was not about to wait that line. It's too hot to be crowded up with all them people in that hot um, kitchen. You can feel the heat like coming from the place. So they definitely cooking up a storm, but baby, won't be for me. We go this damn street again. I know it ain't for them. Thank you. I'm just going to go. Sorry. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Do y'all see what I mean? Almost just got hit by a car. <gasps> Jesus. I legit almost died over there in that street. I deserve to have a drink this early. All right, y'all. We're going to try this again. Across the damn street. The I Love Aruba sign is actually right in front of me. I didn't even see it right there. Right before I almost got hit by the car. This is where I was trying to make my way over to. Let me get my selfie stick and stuff set up before people start running over here. Oh, are they beeping at me? Y'all gonna come take my damn picture while y'all beeping at me? Shit, I need some help. <laughs> First off, we'll be the bus terminal. I just randomly hopped on a trolley for free. Might as well. <laughs> well, tell them where to come shop when they come to Aruba. Yeah, welcome to here. We have uh, best fries on the island. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we finally about to go to the beach. Like, oh God. I stopped at the store and I saw these. I had to get them. Like, you know, I'm a sucker for these little crazy looking glasses. And I also got me some little, y'all know what's coming, right? Bakari. If you want to sponsor me, <laughs> then here you go. <laughs> okay. I had to go get some little bottles because like the liquor around here is not hitting on nothing like and I'm not a drinker like that and if I'm not getting like a little tipsy then that means it's not strong at all. The drinks in Palm Island though where all the restaurants is lit like absolutely lit like I was over there like in my zone and I stopped and got me a coke so we doing some coke and rum baby and I'm about to go get my black ass on this beach. This ain't burning. Um, it's okay. Like the wind really kind of helps. Yeah. I work. So. I work as a bartender. And today is my first day working to the beach because they don't have people. So. Oh. The sun is burning. So. Yeah, it's a little intense, but honestly, it's intense. There's a blizzard in Chicago right now, so. Oh, Chicago. Yes. <laughs> so, so this is nice for me. So do you speak Papamento? Yes, yeah, these four languages. Four languages? English, I'm Dutch, I'm Spanish, Papamento. Hmm, so can you teach me how to say something in Papamento? Um, mi tu mujer bien bonita. What is that? It's a, I'm a beautiful black woman. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, I cannot sit still for long. I'm definitely about to get my beach pictures in. It's not awkward, like personally, I don't care. But people just be staring so hard out here. Even though I watch a lot of travel vlogs of black women coming to Aruba, it's not a lot of black people here. I think that when people kind of see us, it's like just kind of more of a in awe. And I'm okay with someone being in awe. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You're gonna get stared at when you when I go take my selfies and turn up a little bit, turn on music on. Like people are gonna just look and you just gotta like not give a shit. beach day was a success my phone got wet so i'm hoping to lord jesus christ that it dries in time and i'm able to charge it before this um next thing that i have to do because it's not even giving me the option to like override it and do the emergency charge 
so and i'm on 10 percent at the very least i'll leave my phone here and let it air dry like that's the same thing that happened in punta cana but this time i'm by myself so i would prefer to have my phone with me yeah i need my phone but the beach was a whole vibe people was just out there chilling it was very quiet but when i got there baby i wasn't about to have that i put my music on i was taking my pictures i was having fun you know when you have an open vibe and an open mind to just having fun and stuff it inspires other people because everybody literally was just sitting down not doing anything just like laying there but when i got there you know i was lit i was turned up all by myself and then all of a sudden everybody's like getting up taking their pictures like girl take a picture of me okay yes that's what i like to see like have fun you paid to be here let me just tell y'all because i was complaining last night like dang i'm about to run out of money right boom found a hundred dollar bill of course i just told y'all that my phone had water and it won't charge i forgot that i brought brought the wireless charger with me just came in clutch because it's charging <gasps> honey we outside tonight so we getting ready the phone is doing well it's it's slowly getting up there it's at 37 percent right now and i still have a good like 40 minutes before i need to leave i got like five minutes and then i need to get out of here on my way to the pickup spot this is the outfit tonight and the phone is at 70 percent now oh my god i am so worried to be at 70 i am a-okay with that so with that being said party buzz here i come <laughs> This one guy I met at the beach earlier, he told me I was crazy for traveling by myself, but... Good morning, people. As you can see, we already in motion. Last night was absolutely crazy. We had the mic, we was rapping. Girls up there pole dancing. <laughs> I had enough confidence to flip upside down on a moving bus doing a handstand while I'm pole dancing. Like, when I tell you, it got very real. <laughs> I was having a ball. I don't wanna talk too much because I literally gotta get up out of here. Probably like in the next 10 minutes or so. This morning I'm going ATV um, and doing like a island tour. It's gonna be a four hour tour. So it's been something with every single excursion that I've done so far. And now today, the drivers on the app or the tour operators, they messaged me asking me to which building that I wanna be picked up from. And I was asking if they could pick me up from here. And I haven't gotten a response so I don't know where I'm being picked up today even though they did not respond I did say if you can't come here I'll meet y'all at the specific location that they gave me one of the options so I'm hoping that they saw it because I don't know where I'm gonna be picked up and they better not leave me because this ain't my fault okay so they just called me thank God I guess they must be waiting somewhere for me um and told me that they're just gonna meet me here and it's so crazy because like all of this stuff keep happening with the excursions but they just keep on working out for the good though about to get up out of here and have some fun made it on the bus right. good morning good morning oh. ready to go AC. Oh, this is funny <laughs> look like a little face what's poppin'? brand new whip just hopped in I got options, I can pass that by like stocking. Just Josh, I'm spending this holiday locking. I'm not getting in there now. <laughs> I can't jump in there. I'm gonna die. No. No, you cannot jump. No. No. I just wanna get a little wet. That's it, you know. I don't wanna. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of 
she like it. Got my own flow and I'm about to get a pet. Brand new sheets for the bed, they say. Just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that beat like stocking. Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. Okay, the tan is tan and the shower water is going. Just got back from ATV and that was crazy. That was my first ATV experience and it was a great one. Right now, it's about, it's almost 2 p.m. And I really didn't have anything else planned for today besides to like roam around and just be you know until tonight i want to see if i can make reservations for gianni's tonight that's like the popular italian place out here the tour guide said that there was going to be this party tonight and he wanted me to go um and he actually told me he'll come and pick me up and take me wherever i want to go not like well i hope he ain't trying to be like a taxi driver like for the low i think he's pretty much kind of like wanting to chill and kind of have like a little date I was gonna say no but I'm like why not I met so many beautiful women here and I was I spent time with like different women every day um so it's nice to get a little male attention and I also have to remember like I am single you know and ready to mingle like, oh, no. and baby what happens in Arupa we'll be in this vlog okay bye <laughs> all right feeling refreshed about to go and see what the food here tastes like where'd you go Oh, Hello, you? old friend. What are you making? My food and my margarita made by our lovely bartender. Shout out to you. <laughs> and he makes his drinks with such passion, you guys. Like, you should see him over there chopping the fruit up. Like, he, he's in it. So, I'm expecting this to be really, really good. Okay, you gotta tell my people, how do you say this name, the name right. of this area? The, the capital city is called Orangestad. You heard it from the man yourself? <laughs> I'm in the capital, baby. <laughs> I'm randomly at some local spot. I gotta get you on camera just in case you try to kidnap me. <laughs> so people know what you look like. <laughs> What's the name of this place? Who? Kaminis, you wanna give your y'all restaurant a shout out? Are you yeah, I'm Go ahead. Tell them about it. It smells good up in here. We ain't about to eat, but it smells really good. Why are you not gonna eat? Because I was gonna eat some more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep it 100. You don't you wanna shout y'all out? The best guy to shout out. Oh, yeah. Lord. Okay. You wanna give y'all a restaurant a shout out for my YouTube? Sorry? You wanna give your restaurant oh, a shout out? Oh, oh, Lord. You know what? Don't even come here. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Oh, no. No, I'm yogi, I'm yogi, I'm yogi. It smells so good in here. Just tell them to come to your restaurant. That's it. The Camino's Kitchen. Enjoy your meal. We're a Trinidadian based restaurant. Okay, you guys, this is the last hoorah dress. Looking cute, looking cute. I'm gonna. So, I just ordered a taxi. I'm gonna link. When I link, I'll put the number to the taxi cab service that I've been using since I've been here. One rule of thumb, when you're ordering a taxi here because they don't have Uber or Lyft or whatever, I would say be ready when you use this taxi service because they are very fast. Like they come like that and they don't call you when they arrive. At least in my experience, they don't. So um, just be ready because they'll be there within like a few minutes. They'll just be sitting down there waiting for you to come and you won't even know that they're there. Here at Gianni's, I'm just waiting for a table. I didn't make a reservation, but they said that they could probably take me. Please, 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 please. 
I wanted to get that famous like cheese wheel thing that y'all be seeing on TikTok and stuff. But on here it says it's for a minimum of two guests and I guess they're just not used to people coming in by themselves. Or maybe I can ask them if they could do it for one person. I don't know. Cause I kind of wanted that whole shabang, you know? I'm about to get my Keith Leon. This pasta. 9.8 out of 10. What are you talking about? <laughs> it is really good. Damn. Okay, Gianni, you got a brother or a cousin. It's fire. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I feel like it's worth the fact that I didn't get like the show. Even without the show, it's good. Girl, when I tell y'all Mumba better be lit because they got me out here on a whole mission trying to find this place. I found Mumbas. Barely, but a lot. I'm about to check out. Um, keep in mind, if you see stuff out of place and it's like not the cleanest looking, it's because I've been here for four days. Very clean, very comfortable. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. I love that this Airbnb kind of felt like resort style um, because of the restaurant, the pool, the jacuzzi, the gym. Um, it had a lot of amenities. Uh, the staff here, great, amazing, nice. Not one bad word to say about it. The room was clean, comfortable, towels were here. Like they stocked some waters in the refrigerator which saved my life that first day. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys the room. Okay, let's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We go, we we go do that part again. Aruba, we came, we saw, we conquered. <laughs> <laughs> 